In this video, I'm going to try and provide you with a illustrated view more than a detailed view of how you can attach a room addition to a sloping side of a home. This is a common construction method used for conventional framing and even sometimes for engineered roof trusses. So again, conventional rafters, not trusses, but uh, it will work sometimes with trusses. Let's go ahead and put the plywood on and pan back and take a look at the home with the plywood on it and of course the room addition. Now, Obviously, we need to connect the room addition to the home, but I wanted to give you an idea of what the room addition would look like if it was detached. And that's kind of the nice thing about this type of software. I can actually draw something. It would be hard to do something like this, or should I say it wouldn't be economically feasible to build a home and then build a separate structure like this and uh, to give you an idea of what it would look like. But here we can actually do it. This is the fill or and sometimes it's referred to as the California roof style is this style of framing. Now let's go ahead and connect it to the existing roof and here you can see that the walls line up Again, this is an extremely common method for framing room additions where you would have a gable roof on one side or even a hip roof and then where it would connect to a sloping roof. Let's go around here. You can see once the plywood is installed, you would have a nice uh, valley here that you could roof. No problem. Take a look at the fill. Now in this video here, I haven't cut any of the plywood back. I'm just kind of giving, giving you an idea here. I will show you how to connect it to the building in the next few videos. This gives you an idea of how it would frame in. And this, this is something you see often. You see, uh, this is even a method for they use for building homes when they're new when you're whenever you have some type of an l-shaped home where where you would uh, let's pan out here where you would have a home uh, or a building that would come out and then form some type of an l like this and uh, common this is a common framing method for that also even though this video is on room additions and of course the fascia board on something like this would need to be built a little different also and i'll try and uh I might have already made a video on how to uh, tie the fascia board in like this, but if I haven't, feel free to leave one and leave a question in the comment area, and I will make one as soon as possible. In this video, I went ahead and moved the room addition over. It's not on the side. Again, this is another common method used for framing a building like this except this time I've actually started to work on the detail and I'm going to provide you with another video stay tuned to the at the end of the video I will put a link on uh, in the video on how you can actually make two different types of connections and you can see here that the the rafters are the same but these boards have been cut back and uh, we have two different styles here so one of the methods is actually going to be used for a soffit. And the other method would be used if you had a soffit underneath the um, room addition or and, and the existing home. And you can actually run the plywood like this. You won't, wouldn't need to actually cut a separate hip or some type of a fill here. So this method right here, uh, I'm going to show you the two different methods. One is going to have a soffit underneath it. You can actually frame the roof a little differently. And then one would be if you had exposed rafter tails underneath, then you would need to actually cut the hip in here or the fill and cut the rafters. This method right here is going to be a little more difficult than this one over here. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you have a pretty good idea of 
how you can actually frame a room addition like this and tie it into the roof. Don't forget, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area.